here is my output from my Zotero. There are two papers here which I have selected. One is called F Light, a lightweight federated learning framework. The other one is sustainable edge computing, challenges and future directions. Using these two framework or these two papers, I'm able to get this output. Isn't that interesting? Because here it's giving me a literature review of these two papers. And it's also giving me a literature matrix where it is comparing these papers among themselves. Paper number one, paper number two, it's comparing them under different parameters. How is this possible? Can you do for multiple papers? Yes, you can add many papers, you can do this review. Let me do one more thing here. I'm gonna select in my Zotero again. So let's say I choose this paper only and I have the full text of this paper. I'm clicking on this icon here and I would say uh, state the limitations of this paper. Okay, and I'm, click, I'm clicking ask PDF here. So it's going to go and read this paper and summarize for me the limitations found in this paper. So it's giving me some output here. Sometimes you will find things which are irrelevant to be shown, but you will find some of these outputs, okay? So I would click this again. If let's say I'm not convinced with what I got. So you would see it is reading this paper. So it is based on limited sample size and so on and so forth, okay? You could get these answers. Isn't this interesting here? So let me do one more thing in my Zotero right now, okay? So I'm gonna click on this, open this paper here, and then I'm gonna select this title of the paper, and I'm going to go across and translate it. You see here, I'm getting a translation in Tamil. You could translate into any language, okay? Pretty much any language. So if you wanna do this in your Zotero, we all know Zotero is a reference management software. So to install Zotero in your laptops, you got to do this. You got to go into Zotero. You just need to download Zotero here. And you got to install Zotero for Windows or whatever platform you have and the connector which is for the Chrome. So now I'm going to proceed to do two things on my Zotero which I have. Number one, I'm going to have the Gen AI connected to my Zotero. This is number one. Number two, I'm going to do translation connected to my Zotero. How to do this? In order to do this, step one is to go and download these two plugins here. These are the links which I've opened here. One is called Zotero PDF Translate. The other one is called as Zotero GPT. So let me go into those pages. Here are the pages here, All right? These two other pages. I will provide you these links under my description in the YouTube video. So if you scroll down, you will find here, you can go to the latest table here, and then you can download what is called the XPY file, XPI file here, this one here. Similar, you will go for Zotero GPT. Again, you will download what is called the XPI file. So you can go here, it says download latest XPI. So these are two files you have downloaded. So in my case, I'm just canceling this. So let me go in, here are my files here. These are two files. So open your Zotero right now, and then go into tools, go to plugins, you get this page. Initially, you don't see these two in your case. Click on this icon here and choose install plugin from file. Just choose the necessary. So in my case, it is all here. I'm just choosing these two, one after the other, and they are installed, that's it. So these are the steps you got to do. So if you want to manage them, you can right click, you can click on this and just say manage. You can see this, okay? Go back, click, manage. I'm just looking at it. I'm not doing any changes here. So once the plugin is installed, the next step you got to do is to configure these two plugins. So you have to go to edit under Zotero, go to settings. Here you have your GPT, here you have your translate. These two has to be configured. In order to configure them, you need to go into a page called as openrouter.ai, okay? You have to go to this page, and then you got to sign in. So here you are, right? Click on this, just click, move your mouse here, hover over, click on keys, right? Now you create a key, create API key. 
click on this. You can write here, you're going to have a Zotero, okay, Zotero API key. Just give a name and click create here, right? So now copy this key. Please note, you got to copy this. You will not be able to see it again, okay? Copy this, paste it somewhere else. Keep it in a notepad or wherever you want to keep it, okay? So copy it. So let's say that you copied it somewhere, okay? This is one thing you got to do. Right. Second one, you go to this one, Gina.ai, click on the API here, okay? And you are going to click on API key and billing, right? So here, you have to have another key here. So this key is different than the other key. So you have a Gina key, you have open router API key. Let's have both of them, okay? So you have both the keys right now, right? So you have key, one from open router, the one from the Gina. Right? You have both of them right now. The next step, we are going to now configure the translate plugin. Okay? In my case, it is done. So I'm going to show you what are the settings you got to do. So go to here, go to the translate. So scroll down all the way. Here, choose custom GPT-1. And here, you can paste your open router API key, the one you have copied just now. Right? Then click on configure. Right? In here, you got to write this API here. Open router.ai slash API version one and so on. And here is the model. Okay? I'm using the deep seek model here. You can change it to some other model. Right? So once that is done, okay, once that is done, the next one, you got to also copy this prompt here. Copy the prompt, put the prompt there, and enable the stream there. Okay? So these are things you got to do. Copy this prompt and also enable the stream. So let me show you. So if I'm going to go in to edit settings. So this is my translate under config. Here you are copying that prompt, right? And then you have to enable this stream, okay? And then you can just save it. Make sure temp is 1.3, save it. This is done. Then go to GPT. Here you will write here there's the API here, so you got to follow these steps here. So you have to write open router.ai dot slash API. And then in the API key, you have to copy the API key, which is basically the open router.api key, right? And then you have the model here, specify the model. And you are going to provide a prompt here. This is the prompt, you just copy this prompt here, right? So once you have done this, okay? You have to type in the full API, which is this one here. And here is a key. This is your Gina.ai key. Okay, the one you got from Gina.ai, you are copying it here. And then you provide the name of the model, which is Gina Embeddings version three. And then you can click on the test here to see whether it works. Okay, you can test. If it works, you will get these lines here and it will say normally use so much time. Okay, you'll get this. Once this is done, your configuration is done, okay? Once the configuration is done, so please note, I'm on my Zotero. I'm gonna show it again, edit, settings. You have configured the GPT here, right? So make sure temperature is one, the model is there, the API key is open router API key. Base API, you have mentioned the URL here. The system is the prompt, and then full API is the Gina, Gina API key, and the model and you can click on test if you want. On the translate, you choose the custom GPT-1, and this is the open router API key. Click config and provide the API, the path, the model, and the prompt, select the stream, and click save here, okay? Once you have done this, now that you have collected some papers, you can collect these papers using different approaches. Let's say I have collected some papers, you could follow through, you can select a paper here like this, and then you can you can just select this, which is the G chat GPT one. You can change whatever prompt. You can type here the prompt and click on ask PDF if you want to read the whole PDF and then you have to get answer. So let's say contribution of this paper, okay? So if I click enter here after typing contributions of the paper, Right, it's gonna read and you, you will say that, could you provide me the title, could you give me access to it and so on. 
So you can just click on ask PDF. You got to wait for a while. So here is a summary, here's a contribution and so on. You can get these details here, okay? You can ask your prompt, you will get the answers here. So you can also do the literature review. What if I want to change the model I'm using in Jotiro for the GPT? Go to edit, settings. Here is the model, I'm using DeepSeek, correct? If I want to change it to something else, what are the options I have? Go to your browser, go to the open router AI, click on the models. You will find a lot of models here, okay? So if let's say I'm gonna use a DeepSeek version 3.2, you click this, go to API, click on API, you will find here the name of the model, which is this one here. So just copy this, all right, go back to your Zotero, into the settings, just change this. Okay, I don't want DeepSeek. I'm looking for, let's say, Cloud A. Click on this, go to API. Please note this, please note some of them, you would need to have some credits. You need to pay for them, okay? So you can go here, go over this, just replace this with this. So you can change this, and then once you click you can, you can test it just to make sure it's working. Then close, then you can use the Zotero as usual. If you use the GPT, now it's going to use the Cloud A. If you change it to DeepSeek, it will change to DeepSeek and so on. So if you want to close the prompt, you can just click on this, it will close, okay? So what you are trying to do here, you have, have you had your papers here, you have collected your papers, you can generate the literature review, you can get a summary out of it, you can do the translation. So in terms of translation, if you want to change to a different language, go to settings, go to translate. Okay, here it is. Translate from English to whichever language you want to choose. Okay, there are lots of languages here. You can choose accordingly, whichever you are in need of. I hope it is useful. If you find this video useful, please share. You can also um, like this one. If you have comments, you are feel free to make your comments around. And you can subscribe. Thank you.